Hallelujah. Glory to God. I, I want you to high five at least five people and say it's on tonight. It's on tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, it's on tonight. It's on tonight. It's on tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we welcome the power of your presence in this house. Let the Holy Spirit be so heavy that the Kabod Shekinah glory would unhatch potentials that's in this place tonight. For we did not come to hear from a mere man. But we are desiring a voice from heaven. That would revolutionize our thought pattern. And that we would walk in the fullness of your desires. Holy Spirit of God. Have your way in this place tonight. You Use these vocal cords and use this mind beyond the comprehension of my theology that the people of God will never be the same. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give him a praise one more time. Hallelujah. 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 Praise is an expression of faith. And it is a declaration of victory. Come on, we got the victory in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I want to get right into this message tonight. For I've been in prayer for the last 24 hours. Because I did not come on my own strength. I come on the behalf of the Heavenly Father. And Jesus Christ. Na Yesu and the Holy Ghost. Na Roho I want us to draw our attention tonight to the book of Romans chapter 13. Tuangazie wa Rumi tatu, verse 11 and 12. Mstari wa moja na it says, and do this. Enasema, fanya haya, understanding the present time. The hour has already come umefika, for you to awake kwako wewe kuamka, up from your slumber kutoka usingizi. because our salvation is near now than when we first believed. The night is nearly over. Usiku kwa karibu kuisha. The day is almost here. Siku ya mchana iko karibu sasa. So let us put aside. Kwa hivyo tuweke kando. The deeds of darkness and put, a, put on the armor of light. Matendo ya giza na tuvalie ile nguo ya mwangaza. Amen. Amen. Now if we can put Romans chapter 13 verse 11 in the New Living I'm sorry, New King James Version, please. It says, and do this. Knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. I want you to turn to someone that you love 
and someone that you believe that it's their time and tell them your time is now. Your time is now. Your time is now. Family, there are four different types of people that exist on the earth. Number one, those who watch things happen. Number two, those who let things happen. Number three, those who ask what happened. And those who make things happen. Turn to your neighbor and say, it's time to make things happen. Your making is the product of your faith. Everything up to this moment Kila kitu mpaka wakati hu, that did not make sense ambacho hakikuwa kina tuonyesha ama kina, kina, kina maana God is about to reveal Mungu ako karibu kuonyesha that it was never about you ako karibu kudhihirisha kwamba haikuwa kukuhusu wewe but it was the anointing that you carry that will glorify him for eternity. Somebody say amen. There is no accidents in life. As a matter of fact, because you were birthed, that means Something's already finished for you. And when you know that you are a child of God, you know that whatever weaponry that the enemy has thrown at you, it will not prosper. Somebody say it will not prosper. Hallelujah. I declare tonight Ninatangaza leo. we're going to break the powers of the devils over everybody life tonight. For the spirit of discombobulation Ili kwa roho. discombobulation <laughs> I know I'm sorry. <laughs> I heard the Holy Spirit say it. And confusion Na kuchanga nyikiwa. And fear. Na hofu. And worry. Na ku, 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 kuogopa. Will be broken tonight. Itavunjwa leo. If you believe that, say amen. Ukiamini hayo, sema amina. Family, I understand something. Ningetaka muelewe jamii. That a person cannot worship and worry at the same time. That's why the devil doesn't like when you worship. He doesn't like when you lift up your hands and give God praise. Especially when he's thrown all types of things toward you. But the Bible reminds us that we are a peculiar people because we live in the world but not of the world. And we are in the world but we're of the citizenship of the kingdom of God. So family faith shifts the battle to God. And when you give God praise and when you worship him in the midst of your storms you are literally Unafsema, giving every situation inamaanisha kila hali every pressure point kila mahali ulipofinyika every trial kila mahali una, unajaribiwa and battle na vita over to him 
The battle was not yours. It's the Lord's. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So family, when we, 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 we blow opportunities, Wakati tunapata fursa when we move in old habits Wakati tunapata fursa In other words when we can't see the fullness of the spectrum Wakati pengine hata hatuoni mambo yalivyo we will begin to think that God is not moving on hu, our behalf Huenda tukafikiria kwamba Mungu hatendi kazi But God is moving in me even if we don't see him moving Lakini Mungu anatenda kazi hata kama hatuoni Because God is strategic Kwa sababu Mungu ni wa mikakati. He's methodical. Yeye ni wa mikakati. And he is intentional. Na yeye anakusudia. Someone say I serve an intentional God. Mtu sema ninatumikia Mungu ambaye anakusudi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you did not see certain things coming in your life. Kwa hivyo hukuona mambo mengine yakija katika maisha yako. But God told me to give you a scripture tonight. Lakini Mungu akaniambia nikupe neno leo. He said tell my people in Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. Akaniambia ambia watu wangu kuhusu wa Filipi 1:6 being confident in this very thing. Kwamba watakuwa wajasiri kwa jambo hili. He who began a good work. Kwamba aliyeanzisha kazi nzuri shall perform it until the days of Jesus Christ. Ataitenda hadi siku za Yesu Kristo. You have a God that's prepared forming on your behalf. Una Mungu ambaye anatenda kazi kwa niaba yako. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Je, mnanisikiza? Please hear me today. Nisikize. It's not just about do you have strong faith? Sio tu kuwa na imani ya nguvu. What this is about do you have long faith? Lakini je, una imani ambayo imepanuka? Because the Bible reminds me in the book of James chapter 1. Kwa sababu ya Yakobo 1 verse 2 please Mstari wa pili tafadhali It says my brethren Inasema ndugu zangu Count it all joy Ihesabu kama furaha when you fall into various trials Wakati unapata majaribio mbalimbali Knowing that the testing of your faith Ukijua kwamba kujaribiwa kwa imani yako produces patience Inaleta subira And let patient have its faith its, its, its perfect works. Na ima eh, na kusubira iko na ka, inatendeza kazi. The devil would not get the glory tonight. Shetani hatapata utukufu siku huu leo. Because the world doesn't have to be on the screen. Kwa sababu utukufu haipatikani katika runinga. Iko ndani yangu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Bwana. So God wants you to know that you can have the peace of God. Mungu angependa ujue unaweza kuwa na amani ya Mungu. Someone say I will have the peace of God. Mtu sema nitapata amani ya Mungu. Say it one more time I will have the peace of God. Nitapata amani ya Mungu. Ladies and gentlemen, God wants you to have a type of peace. Mungu angependa uwe na aina ya imani that will break yokes and strongholds. Aina ya amani ambayo itavunja nira ya kila aina. Jesus manifest the peace when he told his disciples he was going to the other side. Yesu alionyesha ile amani alipowaambia wanafunzi wake wanaenenda ngambo nyingine ya ya bahari. He literally laid back in the boat. Alikaa katika merikebu. Put his head on a pillow. Na akaweka kichwa chake kwenye pilo. And went to sleep. Na kisha akalala. Can you imagine? tafakari haya sleeping in the midst of a storm unalala katikati ya dhoruba where the waves are coming up in the boat wakati mawimbi yanasuka yanafanya merikebu inasuka suka and the thundering is and lightning is happening in the atmosphere na kuna kuna garika na kuna ngurumo mtete ngurumo ya 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 mvua and jesus went to sleep na yesu akalala Someone say that's some deep sleep. Mtusema hiyo kweli ni usingizi zaidi. I would not be surprised. Hiyo ni amani ya Kristo. If he may have been Pengine alikuwa anangorota. Because when you sleep deep, 
Kwa sababu ukilala sana there's a snore that there's a deepness coming out of you. Kuna kungorota ambayo hutokea ndani yako. I know you snore some of you. Najua wengine wetu huwa mnangorota. But when you snore, lakini unapongorota, right now the atmosphere means nothing to you. Inamaanisha ile eneo ama mahali unapoishi haimaanishi chochote kwako. In a place of rest. Kwa sababu tuko mahali pa pumziko. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God says I want you to rest in me. Na Mungu anasema ningependa upumzike ndani yangu. Philippians chapter 4. Wa Filipi 4. Hallelujah chapter 4 verse 7. Wa Filipi 4 mstari wa 7. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says and the peace of God na inasema amani ya Mungu ipitayo kuelewa kwote italinda mioyo yenu mind, na akili zenu kupitia Kristo Yesu Verse 8 goes on to say and check this out this is very important Mstari wa 8 inasema Verse 8 please Mstari wa 8 Finally brethren Hatimaye wa ndugu Whatever things are true Zile vitu zote ambazo ni za ukweli Whatever things are noble Zile zote ambazo let me read Hatimaye ndugu zangu mambo yoyote yaliyo kweli na yoyote yaliyo staha And whatever things are just. Na yeyote ya haki. Whatever things are pure. Yeyote yaliyo safi. Whatever things are lovely. Yeyote yenye kupendeza. Whatever things are good report. Yeyote yenye sifa njema. If there is any virtue and if there is any praise worthy. Ukiwapo wema wowote ikiwapo sifa nzuri yeyote. Meditate on these things. Yatafakarini hayo. Let me ask you a question by a show of hands. Wacha niwaulize na muinue mikono. How many times have God showed up to help you when you needed some help by a show of hands? Je, ni wakati gani Mungu amewasaidia? Ni wangapi Mungu amewasaidia? When you know that God has helped you in the time of need. Ukijua kwamba kuna wakati Mungu alikusaidia. The Bible says think on these things. Biblia inasema yatafakari mambo haya. Because if he did it once. Kwa sababu kama alifanya mara moja. He'll do it again. Ataifanya tena. I said if he does it once. Kama alifanya mara ya kwanza. He'll do it again. Atatenda tena. So God wants you family. Kwa hivyo uh, Mungu angependa kwamba hatimaye to know ujue that this is your time. Kwamba wakati wako ni huu. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. I want to give you some key thoughts. Ningependa kukupatia mambo mengi ya kutafakari ambazo zitabadilisha kufikiria kwako maisha yako yote there are five levels of kingdom revenue ni hatua tano za vitu vya kifalme number one, ya kwanza the first one is wisdom ya kwanza ni hekima the bible says in proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 biblia inasema katika methali 4:7 It says that wisdom is the principal thing. Inasema kwamba hekima ndiyo jambo msingi. Therefore get wisdom. Kwa hivyo tafuta hekima. And in all that getting. Na katika kule kupata kwako. Get an understanding. Upate kuelewa. Can I share something with your family? Ningependa kushiriki jambo nanyi jamii. Solomon did not ask for wisdom. Sulemani hakuuliza apewe hekima. I want that to resonate in your spirit for those who know the story of Solomon. Ningependa hiyo ikae ndani yako kwa wale wanajua hadithi ya Sulemani. Solomon did not ask for wisdom. Sulemani hakuomba apewe hekima. In the book of 1 Kings, katika kitabu cha Wafalme wa kwanza, mlango wa 3 mstari wa 9. This is what Solomon asked for. Hivi ndivyo vile Sulemani aliomba. Therefore give to your servant an understanding heart basi mpatie mtumishi wako roho ya kuelewa to judge your people akaweze ku, ku, ku kuhukumu watu wako that i may discern between good and evil ili akaweze nikaweze kujua kati ya mazuri na mabaya for who is able to judge this great people kwa maana ni nani awezaye kuhukumu hawa watu wako and i want you to understand family na ningependa uelewe jamii that without understanding 
kwamba bila ya kuelewa there cannot be wisdom hakuwezi kupatikana hekima because the word understanding literally means kwa sababu hilo neno kuelewa inamaanisha comprehension ili kuelewa kwa undani comprehension kuelewa kwa undani means understanding inamaanisha kuelewa the word wisdom na hekima is skilled in living ni kuweza kujua jinsi ya kuishi without understanding na bila ya kuelewa you cannot move skillful in living huwezi pata njia ya kuishi kuzuri but with understanding lakini na kuelewa you can still not move u- in wisdom una huwezi kuenenda katika hekima it's a matter of you choosing ni wewe kuchagua will you apply the word that's given to you jinsi ya kutendeza kazi neno unalopewa that's why the bible says in all thy getting get an understanding and your man of biblia inasema kwamba kwa kupokea kwako tafuta kuelewa when the bible says that my people perish because of the lack biblia inaposema kwamba watu wangu wanaangamia kwa kutojua of knowledge kutojua ama kutokuwa na kuelewa it does not mean that the knowledge was ava- wasn't available haimaanishi kwamba ile uh, kuelewa ama mambo fulani hayakuwa yanapatikana they just chose not to embrace ni, ni, ni tu kwamba hawakukumbatia maneno ya ambao walikuwa wanaelezewa we have a people in this place lakini tuko na watu mahali hapa that have made up in their minds wale ambao wamekata kauli katika akili zao they will hear and obey the word of god kwamba watasikiza na kutii neno la Mungu. Do I have any witnesses in here that says I will? Jesus mtu kama huyo mahali hapa anasema nitafanya nitatii. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The next level of revenue for kingdom is vision. Kiwango kingine cha ufalme ni maono. Someone say vision. Maono. The Bible says without a vision. Biblia inasema kwamba bila ya maono the people perish. Watu huangamia. Vision represents faith in God. Maono inawakilisha imani ndani ya Mungu. You could never allow your circumstances Huwezi kubalisha hali yako or what you are seeing ama yale mambo unayoona to dictate your future. Iweze ku 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 kuadhiri ku, 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 hatima yako. Number 3 ya tatu. The level of kingdom revenue is information. Kiwango kingine ni information. Ni kupata elimu and application. Elimu na kuitendeza kazi. So there are two ingredients in one. Kwa hivyo ni mambo mawili ndani ya moja. Information. Kuna ile elimu application. Na kuitendeza kazi. Say that with me. Information. Elimu application na kuitendeza kazi There are many people that can read information Kuna watu wengi wanaweza kusoma wako na elimu But if they're not applying the application of the information Lakini wasipotendeza kazi yale wamejifunza They will not see the benefits Hawatapata faida of the power that's inside of it Ya nguvu iliyo ndani ya ile elimu Hallelujah Hallelujah Number 4 please hear me today Ya nne tafadhali nisikize leo The level of kingdom re- uh, revenue is relationship. Kiwango kingine ni mahusiano. Someone say relationship. Mahusiano. Relationship derives of two words. Uhusiano inaelezea maneno mawili. Somebody say it comes by two words. Inaleta maneno mawili. It comes by relate. Inaleta and kwa neno kuhusiana. And ship. Na mahusiano. Ship is considered a cargo carrying ship Mary Kebu that brings you to things ambayo inakuletea vitu so you are relating to a cargo carrier kwa hivyo mnahusiana na ile Mary Kebu inabeba vitu that will help you go to the next dimension of relationships ambayo itakusaidia kutoka sehemu moja hadi nyingine ya mahusiano and purpose na makusudi That's why it's very important you choose wisely who you will have relationships with. Na ndio maana ni muhimu sana uchague ni nani utahusiana naye. Because every person that comes to you Kwa sababu kila anayekuja kwako is not sent by God. Hajatumwa na Mungu. 
Amen. Amen. And you have to have a discernment of knowing. Na ni lazima uwe na kule kujua either how to be a testimony to somebody jinsi ya kuwa ushuhuda kwa mtu or to embrace relationship ili ukaweze kupata mahusiano naye somebody say amen amen number 4 the ya, levels of kingdom revenue ya nne ya tano number 5 yes. thank you for helping me ya tano is property and land ni mali na ardhi the Bible says in Psalms chapter 24 verse 1. Hallelujah. It says that the Lord. Chapter 24 verse 1. It says. Zaburi. Psalms chapter 24 verse 1. Zaburi. moja. It says the earth is the Lord's and all its fullness. The world and those who dwell therein. In other words, God has control of the land. He is the landlord. And by you being his children, if you prepare your heart to know how to manage well, God can and will give you land Mungu atakupatia ardhi that you did not ask for ambayo ujaomba and houses na manyumba that you did not build ambazo hukujenga do you believe that tonight unaamini hivyo leo somebody say it's on it's on tonight sema inaendelea na inaendelea leo i did not come tonight just to play patty cake with the devil leo sijakuja kucheza na shetani i did not come to tell you a, 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 a little nice word. But the Lord told me to come tonight. For those who have the faith in Him. For those who've been steadfast. Unmovable. Always abounding in the works of the Lord. He told me your labor is not in vain tonight. He said be not weary in well doing. For you will reap. If you think not. There's, there's nobody in here. That will faint. You've been through too much to think the Lord's not going to finish what he started. Somebody say out loud tonight. Finish it, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So tonight, faith will always have a corresponding action. Imani itafuatana na kitendo. It desires a corresponding action. Inatamani kuwa na kitendo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you and I have to understand na wewe na mimi lazima tuelewe that if something is that's not happening now kuna jambo ambalo halitendeki sasa that you would like to happen now ambalo ungependa litendeke has been designed that God was not ready for it to happen inamaanisha kwamba Mungu tayari anatayarisha ikaweze kutendeka But God wants you to have faith. Someone say I have faith. Lakini Mungu angependa uwe na imani. Someone say I am blessed. Mtu sema nimebarikiwa. And say this no matter what. Haijalishi ni nini kinafanyika. One more time I'm blessed. Nimebarikiwa. No matter what. Haijalishi kinachoendelea. One more time I'm blessed. No matter what. Because when you are blessed, it means that you are empowered to prosper. But it is, it is in God's timing. But God says the timing is now. Someone say it's now. Someone say flow. Tiririka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. So peace is a product of proper thinking. Kwa hivyo amani inatokana na kufikiria 
kuzuri. Who has peace tonight? Ni nani ana amani leo? Come on, if you don't have peace, don't raise your hand. Kama hauna amani usiinue mikono. But if you have peace, raise your hand. Lakini kama una amani inua mkono. It is the proper way of thinking. Ni hali nzuri ya kufikiria. Hallelujah. Peace amani is a product of biblical mindfulness. Ni njia ya Biblia ya kufikiria. But peace says it will not happen. Amani inasema haitafanyika. And this was what Jesus was trying to teach his disciples. Na ndivyo Yesu Kristo alijaribu kuwafunza wanafunzi wake. When they were in the boat. Wakati walipokuwa katika merikebu. And he told them that they were going to the other side. Na akawaambia wanaenda ngambo nyingine ya bahari. He rest in the word. Akapumzika katika neno. And he went to sleep. Na akalala. Because peace doesn't come just out the mouth. Kwa sababu amani haitoki tu kwa kinywa chako. Peace comes from the heart. Amani inatoka kwa moyo wako. And when all the chaotic things happen in the story. Na wakati kuna mambo mabaya ya misukosuko zilikuwa zinaendelea. That the winds got blisterous and boyish. Mawimbi yakawa makali sana. And the lightning were crack was cracking. Na kulikuwa na lightning ile ya e Lightning ilikuwa inatokea and the water was getting in the boat na maji ikawa inaingia katika merikebu and they woke up jesus na wakamwamsha yesu jesus woke up and said where is your faith yesu akaamka akawauliza iwapi imani yenu he said i'm going to get to the other side why akamwaambia tulikuwa tunaelekea ngambo lile nyingine because it came out of my mouth kwa sababu ilitoka kwa kinywa changu and whatever i say na chochote nisemacho it will not return void haitarudi kwangu bila ya kutenda kazi and he stood up in the midst of all the chaos na akasimama katikati ya yale mawimbi and he spoke that that was in him akazungumza iliyokuwa ndani yake see peace must be in you before it comes out of unajua amani lazima iwe ndani yako kabla haijatoka nje and yesterday i talked about that that we see as a water bottle na jana tulizungumza kuhusu kile tunaona kama chupa cha maji when you are pressured in every side ukifinya kwa kila pande just like a water bottle kama jinsi ni chupa ya maji the more i squeeze the bottle ninapoendelea kuifinya the more that's what's in it will come out kile ambacho kiko ndani yake kitatoka well, when you are squeezed on every side unapofinywa pande zote you are to manifest that you trust god lazima uonyeshe kwamba unaamini mungu and you will give him praise in the midst of chaos na utasifu mungu katikati ya ma- wimbi and give him praise in the midst of your storm utamsifu katikati ya mawimbi na dhoruba someone say amen mtu aseme amina hallelujah hallelujah when you are living in the absolute trials and tribulations ukiwa unapitia majaribio mengi sana i want you to understand what god said to me years ago nataka uelewe kitu ambacho mungu alinielezea miaka mingi zimepita he said son Akaniambia mwanangu ninachohitaji. Is that you walk by faith and not by sight? Ni kwamba utembee kwa imani na sio kwa kuona. Because I knew before you began this journey. Kwa sababu nilijua kabla uanze hii safari, you will encounter things that appear that would destroy you. Kwamba ungepitia mambo ambazo zinaonekana zitakumaliza. He said but I wanted you to walk by faith. Na akasema lakini nataka utembee kwa imani. Because anyone I choose. Kwa sababu kila ninayemchagua as my children. Kama mwanangu. They cannot be destroyed. Hawawezi kuharibiwa. That's why the Bible says in Romans chapter 8 verse 14. Ndio maana Biblia inasema Warumi mstari wa mlango wa 8 mstari wa 18 that we will see the sons of God. Kwamba tutaimba nyimbo za Mungu. It says that you will know the sons of God. Kwamba mtawajua wana wa Mungu. As the spirit is leading them. Jinsi ambavyo wanaongozwa na roho. It will be the evidence of their confession. Itakuwa dhihirisho ya kukiri kwao. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So in reality family. Kwa hivyo God wants you to know that this is just a new chapter turning in your life. Mungu angependa ujue hii ni sehemu tu nyingine ya maisha yako. And he's been setting this up the whole while. Na amekuwa akitayarisha muda huu wote. 
I want to give you a scripture. Ningependa kukupatia andiko. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3. Waibrania 11 mstari wa 3. I need eight people quickly to this platform. Ningependa watu wa 8 waje hapa kwa haraka sana. Eight people quickly. Watu 8 haraka sana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just hearing God. Hallelujah. Four on each side. Four here. Wanne kwa kila pande. Four here in line and four here. Wanne kwa kila pande. Hallelujah. Right here. Amen. Can you see me? Good. Je mnaniona? Okay. Now, I want you right here. One, two, three, four. Ningependa msimame wanne wanne. Three, four. Wanne wanne. Yes. Scoop down. There we go. Yes. Hivyo. Hebrews chapter 3 verse Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3. Wa Hebrewia 11 mstari wa 3. Now but faith. Sasa imani. We understand that the worlds were framed. Kwa imani tunaelewa kwamba ulimwengu uliundwa kwa neno la Mungu. So that the things which are seen ile zile vitu zinaonekana were not made of the things which are visible. Azikuumbwa kwa vitu zionekanavyo. In other words the Lord spoke to me and said son Kwa hivyo Mungu akaninenea akaniambia mwanangu as I frame the world jinsi nilivyoumba ulimwengu I frame my children's life. Nimeumba maisha ya wanangu. And even though I give them free will na hata ingawa ninawapatia uchaguzi Binafsi, there is a will within a will. Kuna kuna uchaguzi ndani ya uchaguzi. As Ezekiel said. Jinsi ambavyo Ezekiel alisema. So in other words. Kwa hivyo kwa maneno mengine. Every time I move in my own will. Kila wakati ninapotembea kwa njia nia yangu mwenyewe. Too close to be out his will. Na ninakaribia kutoka kwa nia yake. He uses his frame anatumia rafiki to keep me within anatumia uh, his frame will. yake kuniweka he, ndani he keeps me in his will ananiweka ndani ya nia yake hata kama that things are not going right mambo hayaendi sawa he still has me bado ako na mimi in his will ndani ya nia yake and i could never na siwezi outside siwezi, his will siwezi ondoka because there is an expected in for you siwezi ondoka nje ya nia yake and god says the time is now na Thank mungu anasema wakati ni sasa He said the time is now anasema wakati ni huu this is his divine will hii ambayo tumeonyesha hapa ni nia yake when, when you don't know yourself kama hujijui and someone's trying to pull you out of his will na mungu anajaribu kukuondoa you back anakurejesha the doctor said you're going to die in two weeks anakurejesha daktari anakusema utakufa anakuweka kwa nia yake you to stay where you are until you discover who you are utakaa ndani ya nia yake mpaka ujijue devil can do to you hakuna chochote shetani atakufanyia until you discover who you are in jesus mpaka utakapojua wewe ni nani ndani ya yesu hallelujah hallelujah because greater is he kwa sababu aliye ndani yako ni mkuu aliye ndani yako ni mkuu kuliko that's in the world aliye katika ulimwengu somebody say i got the mtu sema nina nguvu hallelujah hallelujah if you mean it say it like you mean it kama unamaanisha sema vile unamaanisha niko na nguvu i mean you got to have a real attitude na niko na kufikiria kwema will say okay will show me shetani atakuuliza basi nionyeshe hizo nguvu Can I tell you how you can always beat the devil? Wacha nikuonyeshe jinsi utamshinda shetani. Can I tell you I guarantee you you can beat the devil if you listen to this. Ukisikiza haya utamshinda shetani. Do you want to hear it? Je, ungependa kusikia? I guarantee you. Na ninakuhakikishia. It is a guarantee. Ni hakikisho. Do you want to hear it? Je, ungependa kusikia? It's found inapatikana in James katika Yakobo chapter 4. Mlango wa 4 verse 7 Stare wa 7 This is the guarantee Hii ndio hakikisho that the devil will not defeat you Kwamba shetani hatakushinda It says therefore Inasema kwa hivyo submit to 
God. Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. The more you submit to God, the more you trust every word that has been spoken throughout these last six days, the more you not compromise on what was spoken in this atmosphere. And the more you believe God, the more the devil will say, Oh no, they believe God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is telling me tonight that this is a night of transitioning. I'm not going to go any further because God said that I have to make a decree in this atmosphere tonight. I've come to make decrees and declarations over your life tonight. The same God that delivered the Israelites. Yes, Mungu ambaye aliwaokoa ali wanaIsraeli. The same God that raised Lazarus from the dead after Ali muinua Lazaro kutoka kwafu. The same God that brought water out of a rock. Ali toa maji kutoka kwa the same God that, that, that split the Red Sea. Yule aligawa bahari Shamu. The same God that brought manna from heaven. Ali wapa wa Israeli mana. The same Jesus that raised a young man that was going to his tomb. Yule Yesu ambaye alimuinua mwana the same Jesus that healed a blind man by putting mud pies in his eyes. The same Jesus that raised up a woman who had an issue of blood. The same Jesus that raised up a damsel 12 year old girl. Yule ambaye alimfufua yule binti wa miaka 12 ndio yule Yesu. That's going to raise you up. Because he's not going to let the devil finish. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I go there tonight as I close? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The devil tried to kill me, family. He tried to kill me two times. One time when I was young and ignorant, being with the wrong group of people, I was in a place that I should not have been. And guys came up to us. They came up to us. And they pulled out guns. And shot. And shot. This guy looked right at me. Na waka unionyesha ile bunduki. And pointed the gun within six feet of me. Na akaanza anataka kunipiga bunduki. And shot the gun. Na aka ifiatua. And I dropped. Na nikaanguka. And by thoughts I was trying to get out the way. Na nilikuwa ninaondoka kwa ile nchi. But I could not outmove a bullet. Lakini singi ondokea risasi. When the police came. Polisi walipo kuja. They asked what happened. Wakauliza ni nini kilichofanyika? My wife was actually there too watching being a witness. Yes, mke wangu pia alikuwa pale akitazama. And we shared with them that guys came up and shot at us. Na tukawaambia kuna majambazi wamekuja na wametufuatia risasi. We explained that we were six feet. Na tukawaelezea tulikuwa futi sita tu. The police said it could not be. Wa polisi wakasema haiwezekani. He should have hit something on your body. Lazima kungeonekana kitu katika mwili wako. And then they found the bullet because my car was behind me. Na wakaona ile risasi kwa sababu gari yangu ilikuwa nyuma. But the car was not actually behind me. Lakini ile gari haikuwa nyuma yangu. It was on the right side of me. Ilikuwa upande wa kulia. And they found the bullet. Na wakapata risasi. This bullet was so powerful. Hiyo risasi ilikuwa ya nguvu sana. The police said the bullet would have blew a hole through my back. Nasema kwamba polisi wakasema hiyo risasi ingechimba shimo ya kupitia mgongoni. And my wife ran up to me. Na mke wangu akaja kwangu. And shook me. Akanitingisa. Do you know what just happened? Je, unajua ni nini kimefanyika? God has called you to do something, boy. Yesu amekuita ufanye jambo. Wake up. Amka. And I woke up. Na nikaamka. 
So I should have been dead that night. Wakati huo ningekufa. But if I would have been dead that night. Lakini kama ningekufa usiku ule. I would have become who I am now. Singekuwa yule mtu nilie leo. And God will save and preserve your life. Na Mungu ataokoa na adumisha maisha yako. Until everything he called you to be. Ili kila kitu alichoagiza uwe become what he sees you as. Itafanyika jinsi anavyokuona. He who began a good work. Alianza kazi nzuri shall perform it until the days Ataimalizia of Jesus Christ Wakati wa Yesu Kristo There is no weapon Hakuna silaha that will form against you Itakayotumwa kinyume yako ambayo kitafaulu Hallelujah Hallelujah So from that day forward Kutoka siku hiyo na kuendelea within myself Nikajiambia The devil cannot stop what he's ordained for me to do. Shetani hataweza kusimamisha kile Mungu amekusudia. Nikajiambia I will not die. Sitakufa. But I will live. Lakini nitaishi. I refuse Nika, to nikakataa to, 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 to be on the ground and not get back up. Kukaa chini na nikainuka. I refuse to Nik, be alive. Nikakataa and not have rele- relevance. Kuwa hai na nisikue na matokeo and i am not here to fail na siko hapa ili nishindwe someone say i'm not meant to fail mtu sema mimi sitashindwa said one more time i'm not meant to fail sema sijakusudiwa kushindwa say i'm not meant to quit na mimi sitoroki i'm not meant to collapse na mimi sianguki. I'm not meant to have a nervous breakdown. Na mimi sitakuwa na ile ugonjwa ya mishipa. I'm not meant to have a stroke. Mimi sitapata ugonjwa ya stroke. I'm not meant to keep high blood pressure. Sitakuwa na ugonjwa wa kupiga damu kwa kasi. I'm not meant to stay down. Na mimi sikai chini. I'm meant to come up. Mimi ni wa kuja juu. Because greater is he that's in me. Kwa sababu aliye ndani yangu ni mkuu. And eyes have not seen. Na macho haijaona. Nor ears heard. Wala sikio kusikia. Neither has entered the heart of men. Wala haijaingia katika mioyo ya mwanadamu. The things God had prepared for you and I. Zile vitu Mungu ameandaa kwa sababu yako na yangu. I want you to stand on your feet. I want to make declarations over your life tonight. Ningependa usimame ili nifanye matangazo fulani kwa maisha yako. And I want you to raise your hands above your head as high as you can. uinue mikono yako juu zaidi ya kichwa chako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These declarations. Matangazo haya that God has given me to speak into this atmosphere. Ambao Mungu amenipatia ni nene kwa eneo hili. Are not just mere words. Si maneno tu. For the Bible says, Kwa sababu Biblia inasema, The kingdom of God is not by word. Ufalme wa Mungu si kwa maneno, but by power. Lakini ni kwa nguvu. And the Lord's given me these words. Na Mungu amenipa maneno haya to speak these words in your life ili niweze kuyanena kwa maisha yako that you will never forget ili hautasahau for the rest of your life maisha yako yote come on raise up your hands high as you can inua mikono yako juu zaidi father in the name of jesus baba katika jina la yesu i release na naachilia the contents of this message ujumbe huu into the spirit of your people kwa mioyo ya watu wako in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu I speak new inventions. Ninatangaza uzinduzi. I speak new ideals. Ninatangaza mambo mapya. I speak promotions and new businesses to come forth. Ninatangaza kupandishwa vyeo na biashara mpya. I speak new relationships. Ninatangaza mahusiano mapya. I speak honor coming into and Ni, through their lives. Ninatangaza heshima kwa maisha yao. I speak uncommon favor. Ninatangaza kibali kilicho kisicho cha kawaida. I speak recompense coming into their lives. Ninatangaza kwamba watakuwa na kibali. And whatever is wrong with their bodies. Na chochote ambacho hakiko sawa miilini mwao. I speak good health in the name of Jesus. Ninatangaza afya njema. I speak new kidneys and new eyes ninatangaza figo mpya na macho mapya new eardrums in the name of jesus ninatangaza masikio mpya 
I speak joints and bones to be aligned back in the right viungo na mifupa mpya in the name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu I speak the redemption power of the Holy Ghost ninatangaza kukombolewa na Roho Mtakatifu I speak restoration in relationships ninatangaza urejesho wa mahusiano I speak new livers and new pancreas ninatangaza roho mpya na ile pancreas mpya and I speak every demonic force na ninatangaza kwa kila pepo to cancel their assignments in the name of jesus kuacha kazi zao katika jina la yesu over your people katika maisha ya watu wako i speak they will have new ways of paying off their debt ninatangaza watakuwa na njia mpya ya kulipa madeni katika jina la yesu i speak new homes coming into their lives ninatangaza manyumba mapya katika maisha yao in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu i speak new furnitures and homes that have need of furniture ninatangaza vifaa vya nyumba mpya and i speak the holiness of god na ninatangaza utakatifu wa mungu ije katika maisha yao katika kiwango kipya I speak the desires Nina, to evangelize to win souls. Ninatangaza watatamani wakaweze kuhubiri injili for the sake of the kingdom of God. Kwa sababu ya ufalme wa Mungu. And I speak. Na ninatangaza a anointing upako on you tonight. Kwenu leo that when you speak kwamba mtakapozungumza everybody around you will listen. Kila mtu atawasikiliza. I speak people coming from miles around to bless you. Ninatangaza watu wanatoka mbali waje kukubariki. Coming from the north and the south and the east and the west. Wanatoka kaskazini, kusini, mashariki, magharibi kukubariki. Where the blessings will affect your children's children's children. Baraka zitaadhiri watoto wako na watoto wa watoto wako. For today. Leo God has spoken Mungu amenena and it will not return void people of God. Na haitarudi kwake bila ya kutenda kazi. Receive it now. Pokea sasa in Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen. Woo! Bishop, can I do one more thing? Sikiza jambo lingine moja. 24 hours I've been up and I have not slept. Masaa 24 nilikuwa macho sijalala. Not for you to be sorry for me. Sio ili uweze kunihurumia. But I've been travailing for you. Lakini nimekuwa nikikuombea. Travailing for those who've been crying out. Nikiombea wale wamekuwa wakilia. Lord, show yourself strong. Nikisema Mungu onyesha nguvu zako. These are your people. Hawa ni watu wako. Let them see That there is an expected end. Wacha waone kwamba kuna hati manjema. And I said Lord the same anointing the same favor. Na nikasema Bwana upako ule na kibali kile. That you have manifested in my life. That ambao umekuwa ukionyesha katika mwili wangu. Let it be a saturation of favor in this place. Wacha kuwe na kibali mahali hapa. So my prayer tonight. Kwa hivyo ombi langu leo usiku wa leo. And I ask bishop is it's okay. Na ninaomba askofu kama ni sawa. Upako ule ule. The same favor God has given me. Upako kibali ambacho Mungu amenipa. I declare it's coming on you tonight. Ninatangaza inakuja kwako leo. Doors will open for you that you didn't know that was going to open. Milango zitakufunguka kwako. Doors are going to shut that the devil is not going to open again. Kuna milango zitafunga na shetani hatafungua tena. Relationships in your life. Mahusiano Mungu ananena kuhusu leo. So tonight. Kwa hivyo usiku wa leo. If I can bishop. Kama ninaweza askofu. I want to come down. Ningependa kushuka chini. And I want to touch. Na ningependa kugusa this anointing that's on my life. Mafuta haya katika maisha yangu. Because family I shouldn't be here. Kwa sababu hata sistahili kuwa hapa. Ningekuwa nimekufa mara mbili. Lakini Mungu amenihifadhi. Na kibali cha Mungu kiko kichwani mwangu. Right na haitakuwa sawa if I cannot transfer that favor on my life. Kama siwezi kuachilia kibali kile. 
leo usiku wa leo that when we touch and agree with the favor of god kwamba tukikubaliana kuhusu kibali cha mungu will immediately take place in your life kwamba kitu kitatendeka katika maisha yako you will get phone calls for those who are in need of employment utapata simu kwa wale ambao wanahitaji kazi will get restored from any sickness that you felt and had to deal with. your family will come back in alignment 